Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so I was on my way over to the dairy to do some sniping, and uh, which is what you guys are here for, and I went past something that I had forgot about for a while. I gotta go pick some ditch weed real quick. Uh, not a lot of people know what they're looking for when it comes to it, uh, but there's a few that do, so let's go ahead. I don't think there's anyone coming. Well, there is someone coming. We'll wait till this person goes past and then uh, we'll go collect it that way no one sees. But uh, I'm kind of excited about it. I haven't done this in a while. Mm, I know there's some in here because I saw some older stuff that I, we'll see how it is. But I know there's a spot right in here that normally has it. Here's what we're looking for. Is that not, is that not what you guys were thinking when I said ditch weed? I mean, it, asparagus, like wild asparagus. It, is, isn't that what everyone's version of ditch weed is? Oh, that, that's what I thought it was. But, it's a nice one. Nice one. I'm sure there's more. Ooh, yeah. Look. And now if I could only find some mushrooms also, that would be awesome. Maybe I'll find those when I go chase that turkey that I've been hoping to get after for a while. Just haven't had time. Got a tag burning a hole in my pocket and just haven't got it filled yet. I got a nice, what, maybe two pounds of wild asparagus? <laughs> I like asparagus, so that's a big deal for me. Does anyone else out there do their own foraging also? Like, I know there's a bunch of guys out there that find mushrooms. Anyone else find asparagus? What other things am I missing that, like, I should have my eye open for? Because I know there's stuff out there to eat. I just don't, don't know where it all is. I know where some of the common stuff is. Or I know what it is, I should say. I don't even know where it is most of the time. I just happen to know a couple good spots for asparagus. Uh, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what I should keep my eyes open for. Ooh, well, uh, I'm here at the dairy. Uh, there's some starlings I think they're going to leave. Uh, but yeah, this is a video that I asked you guys about. You guys wanted it. I'm going to try it. It's getting a little bit late in the evening. I might have to make this a two-day one. I'm not sure how much stuff is out and about. Uh, but we are going to get on a rooftop in a ghillie suit and see if we can shoot some birds. So uh, let me get suited up here. So I uh, borrowed a suit from Bobby and I just realized I did not get the gun shroud or the like headpiece, but I got the jacket and some pants. All right, here we go. I don't know how, how well this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna try it anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get up there in my ghillie suitness, lay down. The, the dumb thing is, is I am going to be laying on a gray rooftop in a green thing. So I might end up sitting down here on the ground somewhere or doing something different like that, but we're gonna try it up there. What's the worst that can happen? Well guys, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is not the most comfortable thing to lay on and nothing has been landing in front of me. The angle's pretty bad. I'm not real comfortable with it. So, what we're gonna do is I've seen a bunch of birds landing over on the other side. Uh, we're gonna find ourselves a nice little hidey spot over there, and uh, hopefully this, uh, this suit here will work out a little bit better that way. Uh, by the way, big shout out to Bobby Guy for letting me borrow his ghillie suit. Appreciate it, dude. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what you think you smell. I am not food. I am not a big, luscious bale of hay for you to be snacking on. Go away. Come on. Well, it's just walking, just crossed there. After I got done talking to the cows, Starling jumped out, posted up, blasted him. We got our first one down. Ooh, that's a pretty one too. I guarantee when I pick him up, he's not quite so pretty. So uh, yeah, let's go find a spot to post up. Ooh. A little bit of a dangerous crossing, but it kind of stinks. Weird, it's almost like it's a dairy. Anyway, gonna go post up over there. Well, I had to move spots because they weren't landing anywhere where I could shoot, so I had to move over here, which is pretty close to where I was at first. Um, over there, over my shoulder, is where the roof I was gonna shoot off of is. And uh, yeah, I couldn't find my crosshairs fast enough on that starling. I 
Boy, I hope that was on camera. Ooh, there's another one. I was just thinking, well, maybe I will just have to wait and do the rest of this tomorrow. And just like that, two starlings came, two starlings died. Hopefully the first one is actually on camera. I'm not sure. The way I was scrunched over and everything, I was starting to get kind of shaky. I actually thought I kind of missed. I'm not sure. Hope it's on camera, but let's go pick up these birds here. Cause I got two more and I'm pretty stoked about it. Well, I was looking around here in the grass, killing it in here. And as you can tell, from uh, his landing, you guys are not gonna get to see the other side of him. But there he is. Now let's go over and pick up that second one. Kind of curious what kind of condition that one's in. Ooh, this guy's not near as beat up. There we go. That's a nice bird there. Well, let's see if we can get a couple more. It's a little bit later than what I normally come to the dairy. And uh, so I'm not sure how much longer or if it's gonna get better, or worse. Either way, I've, I've got three down. Let's see what else happens. Well, I think I'm gonna call it an evening. Probably do it again tomorrow. Maybe, I'm not sure. But I got a pile of birds. Let's go see if we can find my uh, friend Birder. Yes, the cat's name is Birder. And uh, see if she's hungry. Hey, birder. Hey. There you go. That's a good kitty. Where's your buddy at? Huh? Where's your buddy? Proud kitty. Hey. Hey. Good kitty. Bad kitty. She's thinking about it. Overall, she's just like, what in the world is that hay bale doing throwing birds at me? So, anyway. Let's get out of here and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Ooh. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later than what I wanted to get off work, uh, but I'm here at the pigeon trap and check that out. We got another two birds. We need some more water though, but let's get, uh, let's stick up the two blue bars. That way I know we got the one that had to be the decoy bird yesterday. Leave the, oh, that was that a black check? a little bit different I don't know but let's go ahead get them out uh it's probably a little bit later than what I want to be at the dairy long story short we got some pigeons today see you tomorrow well guys we are back at the dairy hopefully get a few more birds again a little bit later than what I really wanted but it's really nice and still today so I'm hoping it'll do well pretty sure that's a sparrow I'm not gonna shoot till I know for sure though. Oh yeah, it is. You missed again. To be fair, it was through some uh, branches and stuff. But um, what I'm trying to do here, blend in with all the cow feed. Hopefully they won't notice. So far they haven't like been paying a whole lot of attention to me. As you can see, it is warmer here. As you can probably hear the fans in the background. It got pretty decently warm. It's like 80, 85, maybe 90 today. And to keep the cows comfy, they got sprinklers set up. They got fans running. They want these ladies here as comfortable as possible because happy ladies produce better. So yeah, let's see. Hopefully I can hit something here and actually make it worthwhile. Uh, so I made a, a dumb mistake, a really, really dumb one. I went and leaned the rifle against something smooth and wasn't paying attention and it slipped and it fell. I am pretty sure that is going to affect the accuracy, not because of the ding, but because of how hard the scope hit. Obviously it hit pretty hard. I took a shot on bird a little bit ago. Yeah, I should have drilled it. It didn't, didn't do it. So um, I'm gonna have to call it at that. And 
get this thing lined again sometime. Probably should get a new scope. Um, yeah, this is not the way I was hoping this video would end at all. There's a starling. I have a shotgun with me. Hold on. The starling that landed right there. And he landed in the pond. Well, I was going to get him. Apparently I won't. Ooh. Uh, he came up on me a little bit fast. That was unfortunate. Well, maybe I can get one or two more shots real quick. Well, of course, then nothing flies. Anyway, uh, so again, not the way I was hoping this video would go, but uh, mistakes were made, uh, consequences earned, and you know, we'll, we'll try again later. Hopefully overall it was enjoyable. On the bright side, at least the next one will be better. Actually, one of the next videos I'm hoping to film this weekend, not sure exactly when it's gonna go up, but we, by we, I mean Bobby and I, uh, I'm planning on bringing like four or five different guns, maybe six, I'm not sure. We're gonna shoot birds and let the wheel figure out what we're gonna use to do it. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you guys know the drill. Hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>